And now, your Storm Team 18 forecast. Weather from where you live. I want to start with, quickly with temperatures because we have quite the range here. 79 Kokomo, 82 Galveston, 81 Delphi, 70 Fowler where we've had the rain and clouds more so here. Lafayette too, uh, 71 down in Crawfordsville. So where we've had more of the rain, that's where the cooler temperatures are located. It's been a very hot, muggy morning, but things are starting to cool down thanks to the rain. So still hearing the very heavy rain here at the station in West Lafayette. Uh, still seeing some light rain coming to an end in Fowler. Out toward Attica, uh, Pine Village as well. We've had a report of about three tenths so far out toward Fowler. About four tenths of rain up toward Chalmers. Kind of initial reports, but it's still raining in a pretty good clip here across uh, Tippecanoe County, even down toward Romney, Linden, Crawfordsville, out toward Attica, Vetersburg, Covington, starting to see the heavier rain come to an end. But I want to point out a couple features here uh, off toward the east, some heavier showers, some storms, some lightning, kind of a lightning threat with any of these showers that are occurring right now. Uh, heading off toward the east toward Kokomo, Burlington, Rusheville, Deer Creek seeing some light rain. Logan Sport just had a little line pass through, but this little feature right here, we had a lot of pictures and I just posted quite a bit of them on my Facebook page of the gust front of the shelf cloud. It looked like a, just a big old wall of clouds, uh, but it was a shelf cloud is what we call it. It's front of, in front of these uh, showers and storms. But what's happening is that's when the cold air starts to sink and flow out ahead of the storms. When that gets so far ahead of the actual rain, that means that the storm itself is starting to dissipate a little bit, not be as strong. We did have a warning, in fact, for uh, Tippecanoe County Fountain Warm. It's long since passed and nothing severe at the moment, but lightning, obviously a threat in some standing water may also be occurring right now with the very heavy rain. But as I've mentioned multiple times this week, models have been very kind of uh, have been struggling to really get a grasp on the pattern that we're in where we're on this outer periphery, the ridge riders that's occurring. Uh, but Futurecast has some of these showers starting to move off and dissipate uh, this afternoon. We'll give way to partly cloudy to mostly sunny skies later on. And I think as I mentioned through my coverage within the last hour, I think the weather that we're having now is going to really put a uh, cap on any severe weather that we could have had this evening. So we'll be watching that closely. Otherwise, we should be clear. But then tomorrow morning, we could be watching another wave of rain that may start to work in. But nonetheless, don't let your guard down after this morning's midday storms. We may have more tomorrow morning. Things will clear out by midday Thursday tomorrow. And then more storms. Another Ridge Rider might be moving through Thursday evening. Uh, and then through Friday, looking at more scattered kind of rainy day with more clouds Friday and temperatures slightly cooler and then things clearing out by Tuesday. I do feel though the Storm Prediction Center is going to update this map at about uh, I think 1230 is their new uh, latest update coming up here. Uh, but I do think they will update this. We may be moved to a level one, but we'll still kind of watch this. Uh, I'll be waiting here at the Weather Center. I'll be posting more of the updates on, on my Facebook page. But uh, the storm outlook for tomorrow, all of us underneath a level two slight risk, damaging winds, isolated hail, isolated tornado, kind of all threats, but level two out of five. They can't uh, rule out a few areas of severe weather for tomorrow. So the rest of the afternoon temperatures, this may be a little off due to the rain, but once we get the sun out, the clouds broken up, we'll definitely warm up quick and it's going to get muggy this afternoon. And then tomorrow, have a round in the morning, we'll likely clear out midday, and then we'll see more storms in the afternoon and evening, mainly after about 5, 6 o'clock. I think we'll see the better chance for another ridge rider. But temperatures upper 80s to possibly low 90s with the heat in the seas triple digits. Very warm out there for your Thursday. But thankfully as we get toward the weekend we will continue to see a drying trend as a cold front will pass through. We'll knock down our humidity a little bit for the weekend. Highs will be in the mid 80s. Beginning into next week we'll see temperatures staying in the 80s with our next probably best chance of rain coming in by next Wednesday. Now it was so hot and humid this morning mm -hmm. and the rain surely will bring the temperatures down a little bit. Yes and it has already done so. I mean we've, uh, we're down to about uh, 71 here in Lafayette when we were up into the close to the 80 degree mark. Which is kind of a good thing. Yeah, kind of cuts that mugginess. You yeah, know? but that mugginess is really contributing to heavy rain. It too, is. It's so, heavy. It's loud. Uh, but yes, yeah, very loud here at the station. Yeah. So stay weather aware. We do have several more chances of rain and storms to go. It'd be nice to take a good nap and listen to the rain right now. <laughs> yes, very much so. <laughs> I'm getting tired. <laughs> anyway, 